I just found a brand new AI assistant that acts as your personal chat should be taken. It remembers every single thing you've ever interacted with that you've told it to remember or that you've seen while you're browsing on the internet. For example, YouTube videos, it remembers that. Articles, it remembers that. It can even securely access all the files on your computer so you can create new content with it or reference it whenever you want. By the end of this video, you're gonna know exactly what this brand new AI assistant is, how you could use it, and tons of use cases you're gonna love with this. Now that brand new AI tool that I'm talking about is gonna be Remio AI because this allows you to have all of the knowledge that is on your computer, all the knowledge in a ton of your apps, and all of the knowledge across the internet that you've been interacting with all in one place so you can interact with it, create new stuff for it, and do a bunch of mind-blowing things. For example, if we come under knowledge base right here and we click on more, you'll be able to see everything that you could do. Right here, we could see that with one click of a button, we could sync all of the local files on our computer. I'm currently doing this with everything on my desktop right now. In addition to that, if you download the Chrome extension, you can actually reference, you can annotate, you can capture everything all with the Chrome extension. In fact, it auto-saves everything that you interact with. You could come over here and you can manually record things if you wanted to use voice notes. You could do it with your Gmail. You could do it with Slack. You could do it with YouTube. You could do it with your AI chats, with anything that's in Google Docs, WeChat, or anything that you go ahead and actually upload. So for example, let's say that we wanted to actually look at something like a resume. If I come over here and I type at resume, I can actually pull up this person's resume right here and I can say, I am interviewing this person for a financial analyst job, please give me five to 10 questions to ask him. And then what this is going to go through and do using ChatGPT, and you could switch this to be whatever model you want. This is going to go through with the file that was on my computer and pull questions that are hyper specific to his resume. And what I really love about this is each one of these is super specific about him managing a budget or how he did something or how he reduced event spending. And we could see all the citations for everything and exactly why it actually pulled that, which is incredibly useful. In addition to that, we could see right here that we can actually build up a prompt library. So if we wanted to, we could add this in here. Like if we keep doing this over and over again, and you were somebody that's interviewing people all the time, or you could have a prompt and add it to the prompt library for anything that you're doing. And if we come over here, we could see a few specific things. For example, we could toggle the knowledge base right here on or off. We could come over here and toggle on web search. And like I showed you before, you just do at and you'll be able to see everything that this has access to. And one thing that I did really want to call out because I always get questions on this, there is no cloud with this. All of your data is stored locally. So it's safe to use this tool. So now let's say that I'm doing something like I'm over here on the internet watching this CoffeeZilla video. Guess what I can do? I have Remio right here and we could see that this is going to go through and this is automatically going to save everything. It'll capture the page and all of that, which is awesome. In addition to that, if we click on this right here, we could see we could actually pull this up so that we have this right here. So we could chat with it. We could ask it to summarize things. It's pretty awesome. And it will actually tell you everything that it can do while it's on YouTube. In addition to that, if we come back over here and we just click on this, we could see that we could get an overview. We could ask, we could add things to collections. We could add things to favorites. This is incredibly powerful and it doesn't only work on YouTube. It also works if we're over here. For example, if we come over here, this is going to be an early look at the upcoming app submission flow for ChatGPT. And if we click on this, Remio is going through, it's automatically saving this. And then we could actually chat with this right here. For example, I'm going to come over here and ask, and I'm going to say, does this say when this will be released? And then we could see that it automatically right here references this. And then guess what? If I pull up the Remio app again, go into my files and go into the things that are on there, we're going to see this is going to be in there. And we could see, no, this doesn't actually give me a specific release date. What I could do is talk a web search and say, do a search on the web to see if you can find anything. And then what this will do is actually go on the web. So we could toggle on and off between searching the page that we're on or searching the web without opening up a new tab and going and searching for something else. In addition to that, let's say that we wanted to do something with this. We could come over here, we can create a highlight, we can create a comment, or we could ask AI about something super specific on the page simply by just highlighting it and annotating it, asking it, or leaving a comment that will then get saved into our Remio model. Then we could see right here that this actually pulled in a bunch of other things about the specific things, but that nobody actually says that 
there is a completed date that is going to be coming and we could see all those different sources there, which is incredibly powerful. Now, before I show you some specific use cases that I really use to love Remiel for, I wanted to remind you that you can go to the pinned comment below and get started with it today for free. This tool made me so much more productive and it's really awesome to have all my stuff in one place so that I'm not constantly having to upload things into ChatGPT or into another tool and Remiel has been a huge time saver. Now, use case number one I wanted to show off here is how I actually use this in order to create content. So let's say that I saw this video right here that's been doing really well on YouTube. New YouTube changes, you must know for 2026. It's been out for seven hours. It's gotten a decent amount of views in this niche. Now, what I could do is I pull this up with Remio. We could see that this is already auto saved right here. And then what I could do is pull Remio back up. I am going to open up a new chat right here. I'm going to do at, and I could see right here that I can now reference this video. And what I'm going to say is make three Instagram posts, three TikTok posts, three X posts, three Facebook posts, and three YouTube shorts posts. I need just the script hook and title for each of these on the same topic as this video. Now, what this is going to do is this is going to get me ready to create multiple pieces of content right here. I'm going to click on this and this is going to go through and do that. While that is working on that, what I could do is I could come over here and I could look for more videos or I could look for more articles. Basically, it allows me to save my time and I don't even have to watch this entire video in order to get the learnings to go create more content because guess what? I can have Remio actually do that for me. We could see right now that it's going to go through and it is going to do that. We could see that this has now gone through and this has crushed this tasks. It gave us a title, a hook, a script for all these different Instagram posts, for all these different TikTok posts, for all these different X posts, Facebook posts, YouTube shorts, which is incredibly powerful. And we could have taken this one step further because this has access to my scripts already. I could come over here and I could have actually accessed this too and accessed the video and then said, hey, make scripts for this based on how my scripts are in this piece of content right here because it can reference things that are already on my computer, things that are already in my knowledge base or something that I've actually interacted with before. Because as we can see right here, this has access to 113 web pages that I've been to, 17 notes that I've left it, and almost 2,000 files that were on my computer or elsewhere. The use case number two is going to be using this in order to study for my exam. So we can see right here that I have this PDF that's got over 322 pages about all of my notes that I need for chemistry. Well, guess what? All I have to do is access it on a browser now and Remio is going to go through and it is going to actually save this. In addition to that, I can pull up YouTube videos that I was watching that I was trying to learn with via Remio and now guess what? Remio is going to have access to these. Now, when it looks like this, it means that it hasn't actually saved yet and then it's trying to save it with some long things like how this is over 322 pages. It does take a little bit longer. So I would note that, but we could see like over on this video right here, it's already done it with this video. So now that this is all saved, I could actually come back over here into Remio. We could come over here and do add and we could grab both of these sources and we can have this create a study guide for us. So I'm going to say I am studying for my Chem 101 exam. I need a study guide, study schedule, and please create me a 25 question quiz that I can use to study each question I get wrong should be remembered and then we can keep building new quizzes off of that to help me study. Also, anything else that's not included in these notes should be researched in order to make sure I have a full understanding of Chem 101. Now, what this is going to be doing, it's going to be using a YouTube video. It's going to be using that 300 page PDF. In addition to that, since we have it turned on, it is going to be using web search in order to actually go through and create the study guide, create how we should study and this quiz that we could then interact with. Okay, now as we can see here, this went through and this created a study guide for everything that I need to make sure that I am referencing. This went through and made me a schedule 
for how I should be studying. It assumed four weeks, but we could actually go through and change that if we needed to. And then if we come down here, we could see this created multiple different quizzes and we have the answer keys and everything that we need right here. And it created a process for me for how I can actually go through and learn. And then it has follow-up questions here. Now, if you are going to use this for school or for studying, I would strongly suggest that you save this in the prompt library with your best way of studying so that you can constantly reuse it for other classes by just taking all of your notes or whatever class notes you have, uploading it into Remio, or you should have that auto sync on and then you'll automatically have all this stuff and you can study however you want. Now, for use case number three, you can actually get this to reference past emails, past meetings, or things that have been created. For example, for those of you that don't know, I run a pretty big social media agency. So I could come over here and I can say something like, at somebody's name, this will then pull up their plan and I can say, what post did I recommend he make? And then this will go through and this will actually reference that. Now, I don't have to then remember everything that I tell everybody or everything that happens in meetings because if a summary is getting generated or thing like that, this has access to it. And then we could see right here that this went through and this actually found and referenced exactly what was in this and I didn't have to open it. And then guess what? This also, which I really love, gives me additional action items for each thing that I do here. And the final use case is something that I've kind of touched on in this entire video, which is just how powerful it is to have this with you everywhere when you're searching on the internet. It doesn't matter if you're a content creator, if you're just a professional that is trying to do research, this just makes it way easier for this to be able to keep track of everything that you've done on the internet so you don't have to forget things and you don't have to have all these different tabs open and worry that you're not gonna be able to reference something because guess what? Everything that you come to, Remio is going to be saving it right here. Then you'll be able to reference it, it'll be saved, and you'll always be able to build or create things or reference whatever you're looking at. Now, if you enjoyed this video, I would strongly suggest you check out this video right here that walks you through seven other AI tools that I personally can't live without. I'll see you over there.